mine didn't show up very well. Yeah, it won't, won't probably. <laughs> All right, it was really crowded here last night, and I'm sure it's going to be the same. Now, tell me about this place burnt down and they rebuilt it. In 08, a few months after we came here and had our big opening game night party or whatever, um, the uh, light pig burnt down, the whole bar area and everything up here on the upper deck. So they rebuilt it, and they haven't... They basically haven't opened it for a big group until our weekend because they haven't had the inspections and everything approved yet. So we're the inaugural group, so we're breaking in their deck, and I hope we don't break it in. Are we safe? <laughs> hey, I, I believe we're safe. Stay on the concrete, though. <laughs> All right, I'm here with the uh, president and vice president of the Houston chapter of the Oklahoma State Alumni Association, and, and it's JJ, is that correct? That's me. And, and Jason. And JJ and Jason. And i and I got to say, you guys have done a fabulous job. This is one of the best parties of all parties I've ever been to for any alumni association. That's nice right. job. Go folks. How did you know, you, I mean, party. what did you do? I mean, tell me about the work that you had, because this is a lot of work. What did we do? We told Josh. <laughs> So Josh did this. Josh put this together. Yep, we relied on Josh. Jerry. Uh, do you know Jerry? Yes, he sir. actually works for Jerry. Oh, do you really? Oh, yeah. You got any good stories about Jerry? I love Jerry. Oh, yeah. I got so many good sayings about Jerry. He uh, he, he gets, comes up with the, the greatest uh, sayings in the world uh, to hear in the office every day. He's a great guy, a good alumni, and a strong leader. Have you seen his mobile home? Yes, I yes, have. Yes. I like calling it a mobile home. Yes. It is good. Mobile Actually, watch for Jerry because we're going to do a float in the homecoming parade next year. We're going to make him ride on top of it. Oh, you're kidding. No, it's his, it's his idea. He wants to do it. So we're like, we're going to like see if we can get a student organization to pump it for us. And then we'll come in like Thursday night before we walk around and, you know, yeah. party and put a few, you know, a few holes. Yeah, we have a, cha we have a challenge for every alumni association uh, in the country. We're going to, we're going to bring a alumni float to the parade this coming year. We want every single place, Austin, Dallas, Houston, Oklahoma City, to have a float. We're going to make uh, America's homecoming the best for OSU. Go Pokes. If the New York guys can bring one, then the people that are close to home want to be able to bring one, right? Sweet, yes. Right. You're exactly right. Need to bring it. Go Pokes. Go Pokes. All right, I'm running to the guys with cameras from France. I don't have any idea what they're doing. What's going on here? Right, we are doing what's going on here. What's going on here? What, what does it mean? What? What does it mean? Oh, yes, American yes. This is Orange Power, baby. Do you know what Orange Power is? No. Orange Power. I know. I don't know what that's, le, fine. That's, awesome. that's when the OSU Cowboys get behind their team and they're saying, hey, we're trying to shut you guys down on a second and long. And we're saying, orange power, orange power, orange power, orange power. That's what, that's what it's all about. On a mieux compris là. Ah, ça y est, ils vont les emmener. On va vous laisser. On va vous laisser. Pretty smart. Yeah. You ever get cramps? Uh, once I got a cramp. So all Never. the football players are getting cramps this year. I didn't know yeah. if it was the weather or well, training. I like a 12 hour day one time. And I took some really, really big people. All right, guess what? My friends got me a ricochet ride to go get my tickets at StubHub, but they pointed me to the wrong double tree, and so it was across the interstate, and so we were racing back here to get to the stadium so we could uh, cheer on the team. I ran a fat man and a 50-year-old fat man in a jumpsuit running around the Texas stadium, and the first person I, I missed the I missed everybody, but the first person I run into, guess who? Ann Bailey. There you go. And you there know you what's go. significant about today and why I'm so proud? You know, what I'm excited about was today is a historical moment in OSU history. We hope. We hope. We hope. Dan is four points away from tying Barry Sanders' all-time leading OSU score right. in history. So five points. And, he's and I'm here with his mom. It's great. We're hoping that it happens. We're hoping that it happens today. It should. It should. What's he say? You know what? I'm serious. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do a small plug here. Maybe Dan will see it. But 
I, I have an OSU trophy and a bunch of stuff that I collect. <laughs> yeah. I think one of my greatest treasures would be an autographed orange shoe by Dan Paley. Well, is that possible? Well, uh, well, we can see what we can do. I would love that. I'm, 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 I'm doing a plug here. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not ashamed. He wears the same pair that he's had from the get-go. Oh, well, I don't want those. No, but he also has like three pair that he wears to practice. Okay. So we might can get you one of those. Oh, I'd love that. So we'll see what we can do. Trouble last time. And we even got stopped. I mean, people were stopping us going, where were his shoes? Must oh, wait, I don't know wait, wait, dressing. wait, no. This is good. Another edition of the Blackout <laughs> failed. I'm still here with Ann Bailey, Dan Bailey's mom. And apparently last year when we had the big blackout, um, Dan always wore his orange shoes, which come from Italy. Yes. Right? Yes, they come yes, from Italy, yes. and he has three colors. Yes. And black, why, why from Italy? Well, that's the only place that carries them anymore. Nobody here carries them. They quit making them two years well, what's ago. What's the brand? It's Nike. They're it's, Nike. But they just make them in Italy? No, they don't, they don't even make them in Italy anymore. But that was the only place left that had the orange pair was in Italy. So I had to have them shipped from Italy here. Okay. And so during the blackout. He wore his black shoes. He wore his, and what happened? He got numerous texts, numerous Facebook messages, emails wanting to know why he didn't have on his orange shoes. So he said he would never do that again. So this year... Good for the, him. Yeah, so this year in the blackout, he actually wore his orange shoes. So, but he has them in black, white, and orange. So. All right, with a minute and 15 seconds left, Dan Bailey is going for an extra point and put him over Barry Sanders 330. This is for the all-time leading scorer in OSU history. Here's Bailey for 334. 